Let me get you some meal. Meal. And cook it. And turn it up. Let me get you some meal. Meal. And cook it. And turn it up. And cook it. And turn it up. And cook it. And turn it up. And cook it. you all doing we love y'all and miss y'all and we thank y'all for tuning in again again on this beautiful day so um we talked about last time one night stands we finished the clubbing series and um now we're going into a new one just in case for our new subscribers my name is jerisha i am marisha and um we started this youtube channel to to help our fellow fellow people out because we know it's a struggle out here so, we welcome y'all to our family. We hope y'all learn something. Mm -hmm. So, we start a new series called Freedom from Religion. Amen. Amen. What do you mean by that? So, we we realize that um, in, our, in our growth in Christ, that, you know, religion and relationship is two different things. And um, religion has um, kept a lot of people from... The true meaning of uh, Christianity the, and, and who God really is. And a lot of things that we were taught were very um, oppressive and um, were not totally true. And a lot of it, they might have missed it out of love, but it, it, it just was not right. And mm -hmm. that's just to be honest. So um, I hope it frees y'all. That That is our prayer that it is as freeing to you all as it has been to us because it's needed and in order for us to move forward in the, in the kingdom and make an impact, these things gotta go. Yes. These things gotta break. It would so, take the limits off. off of your mind about yes, God. About God. See yes. God in a new way. So this first, um, the first video in this series is called Religion versus Relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we're talking about, what's the first one? So our first point is knowing relation is a gift and it's not something that you can just earn. Uh, yes. There is a difference when it comes to relationship versus religion. With religion, a lot of things seem like you have to do a work checklist. in order, basically a checklist. If I do a good deed, I get something in return for it. Salvation was something we never could ever do right to deserve. Yes. Salvation was given to us before we was even thought of. Yes. Okay. So there's nothing you can even do ever to deserve God dying on the cross for your sins yes. at all. So yes. that's point number one. And the verse for that is Ephesians um, 2, and two and 8. eight. And what it says is, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So that just reiterate what I just what we just said. It is a gift, something that we are graced to have through right? faith. Through faith. So believing that I am forgiven yes. of whatever I could possibly do wrong today, tomorrow, next year, yes. years to come, and knowing that God loved me so much that He was willing to pay the price for my wrongdoings yes. of tomorrow and of the months and years to come. He already waived and paid it all in full. But knowing that I can't never do anything to earn that, yeah. to pay. You know how if somebody bless you, borrow some you money, feel like you, you feel back. like it's an obligation to pay them back, even though they tell you all the time, just don't worry about it. No, just keep it. But you feel like, oh, no, 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 I got to do something back mm -hmm. to show you that I appreciate what you did with God. This gift that he gave, too big. Too big. Too big, homegirl. <laughs> too big, sis. Too big. You can't match works with God's salvation. It's just it's, it's just not going to be possible. And he gave it to you. It's just sitting there waiting, waiting for on you, you to, receive. to receive it. So, um... Religion will really have you sitting up here thinking that if I have a perfect attendance record at church, then I'm straight. No. If I be nice to a homeless person yes. or be nice to such and such, I'm straight. You, there's no way of earning your way yes. into heaven. You cannot earn your way there. Because what you look like is a hamster on the wheel just turning and turning and turning. Never get nowhere. And you'll be 60 years old like a lot of people I know and a lot of churches that I've been to. Still working for salvation and never understood that that's not how it works. 
He just loved you so much that he gave you this special gift. Yeah. So you're wondering, okay, what's the difference between religion and relationship? And um, this is a key part of, of understanding this. So relationship is developing intimate communication with God over time. So we use the example of when we have relationships with people or with your boo thing, anybody, you take time to get to know that person. You take time to get to know what they like, what they don't like, who they who they hang around, what kind of foods they like. You talk to them a lot. You stay up on the phone a lot, a, a long time, just talking, getting to know each other. And, and you become intimate with them. You become... You know the innermost parts of them because of the time and the and the effort you spent to get to know them. And it's the same way with God, y'all. It's not it's not meant to be hard. It's not meant to be nothing that you think it is. It's it's just developing that relationship and becoming intimate and one with Christ. And God tells us that a lot in throughout the word that he put his spirit within us because we are one. It's a part of our mm -hmm. DNA. He is in us and we are in him. So he longs for that connection. And so that's just what, what really, I mean, relationship is. Religion, on the other hand, is a set of man-made traditions and rituals to be perceived as holy. So, Marisha, what does that mean? So, basically, religion is just people who gather together. And they say, this is what we think things should look like when it comes to God's house. Yes. This is what you have to act yeah. like. This is what you have to look like. This is how things need to be conducted. Now, don't get me wrong. God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got to have some organization Structure. when it comes to, you know, your walk. Yes, you got to have some balance. But with that, you gain balance, like she said, through relationship, getting to know what God likes, what he expects of you, what he wants you to do, where he wants you to go, how he wants you to act. Not based off of what your mother and them has done down through the years. Sometimes when it comes to religion, people will take God's word and manifest it into what they believe it should be mm -hmm. and how they want to be in control. Mm -hmm. And they run with it. Really, mm -hmm. religion is, sometimes it can put God in, in a, a box. box and limit all the things he's trying to really do through the people, uh, through his people, uh, due to somebody trying to have a title, yep. a status, yep. an important role. Yep. And due to someone trying to keep everybody on a level so that they won't go beyond this. Some people are like that. Legit. And that's what religion can be used as. And I talk about this, side note, I'm writing a book and it's coming out at the end of this year, Millennial on Fire. Be, be on ready. the lookout. It's going to change your life. And God gave me this. He said that, you know, um, religion, religious people just create rules so they won't take on the true character of Christ. They, they create their own rules because they don't want to really... Com like conform to what God love God's love is. They set their own standard stand because they don't want to really do what they need to do, and that's what a lot of Christians have done. They set the Bible, they set the scriptures, they set the rules to how their life will be most comfortable, and not what God really asking us to do. And it's really a lot of opinion religion. Now, granted, we were made differently. Everyone has different personalities. Everybody looks and perceives life differently. differently. But when it comes to Christ, we got to realize and remember what the all-time motive and purpose of him wanting to bring his word down here to earth yes. and what it was sent forth to yes. do. Next point. <laughs> um relationship will be open to new learn new things about christ religion will keep you in prison and misuse boundaries and what i mean by that marisha already said it, it imprisons you and makes you it makes god in this box that he just is one way and is one thing and is mm -hmm. on this per particular subject god is so god is so beyond us He's beyond logic. He's beyond reason. Yeah, true. And and so for us as humans to and Christians to put him in a box is really a a a, 
um, offensive. It really it's is. really blasphemous to God because he is so big and so beyond us to think that we could, we as humans, which who he created to say, no, God is this and God is that. That's crazy. Religion is nowhere near the same as having a relationship. And, um, it can just really leave you blindsided. Blind. Blind. Really it, it, it does. And it it's deception. It's the enemy's tactic to deceive us from who God truly is. I need y'all to realize that the enemy, I'm giving y'all so much. The enemy does not want us to know who God is because he know who God is. Does that make sense? And he know who we are within God. Exactly. So, so he, the devil knows how how powerful and how loving and how God, good God is. He was there with him. And, mm -hmm. and since he knows that, he trying to do everything to make us not see that. So how the devil know this, but we don't? What? Yeah, it don't make sense. It don't. And so... I got to pipe down because I'm really about to start preaching. But I, we just want y'all to understand that. For real. We're, like, me and Marisha have grown so much because we've fallen in love with God in a way that we never have thought it was possible. I, at least that's how I feel. I never thought I would be this close to God and, and know God in the way that I have and, and have this intimate relationship that I have with God. I never thought that was possible. Religion stays within a building. Relationship operates outside of a building. Okay! That's it. Do you hear me? Religion Girl. is a building. Religion says, I just need to show up for Sunday school, yes. Bible study, and church, and I'm good. Relationship says, it don't matter where I'm at. I'm a disciple. I am a disciple. If God speaks a word, Come on, I'm now. saying it. If God tells me to stop, shut my mouth, don't you say nothing back to that rude behavior, I'm shutting my mouth, I'm not saying nothing. Relationship tells me, give that person $100. Ooh. Relationship says, I know you only got a 10 in your wallet, but trust me, I am still God, still tithe, still give wow. Wow. I will provide relationship says I know that you hate that I broke up that relationship with old girl and old dude but I got you in the lonely yeah. hours hang in there with me sis hang in there with me young man I got you somebody in the future yeah. you will have a family you will have a spouse you will have a job you will not be broke all the days of your yeah. life but you have to know I am God yeah. you have to see me you have to see me you have to see me. And religion only sees God in a building. Wow, yeah. Relationship sees God in this whole entire world. world. Ooh! Gems. <laughs> Drop the God nerd mic. I that can't even it. sit down. That was it. Ooh, girl. Now, that was trying to make me forget that. But that was it. God is so good. I can't, I, I'm really, I feel like I'm on Adderall right now. I'm trying to calm down. But it's yes, beyond. It's beyond. It's, and like you said, it's everyday encounter. God, 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 you can experience God every day of your life. You should experience you should. every day of your life. Not just on Sunday. You God not, is not a not Sunday on, God. No, he's not. Oh, Pastor Corey. <sighs> Uh, shout out to New Anointing. Pastor Corey in Chattanooga, Tennessee, he has a song called um, Hallelujah, My Life Sing Hallelujah. And the lyric to that song is, my praise should go beyond a building. Mm. It has to be more than a simple thank you, Jesus. I realize why I love that song so much and it's so liberating because he reminds you in that song, it's not just on a Sunday morning. It's yeah. not on a Wednesday night or Tuesday night. It's an everyday thing. Dang. It goes beyond these walls. People think that us Christians, we're only within a building. And it breaks my heart. And you know what? We can't blame them because how yeah. are we acting on an everyday yeah. basis like she said? What are we doing to show them that light? Yeah. Yeah. And if it breaks my heart, and, and we're in here, if it breaks my heart to see to see that people think that Christ, that God is this way, how y'all think it made God feel? Mm -hmm. God is like, I'm trying to pour my love out. I want you to see who I am, but my people is it, making it difficult. You don't want to change. You don't want to evolve. You don't want to experience on, me in yes. new ways. You don't yes. want to pray. You don't want to fast. You don't want to be open to people that don't look like you. And then you're wondering why you can't get nobody in your church. 
you wonder why young people are leaving the church. They want real. They want they want truth. They want they want to know how can you fix this depression? How can you help me not want to kill myself every day? Throwing a Bible at me is not helping me. It's not. It's not. It's so, not. So so that's what God is 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 hurt. His heart hurts. And I and I feel we feel that because I feel it, she feel it. His heart hurts because he pouring out his love and he pouring out his heart and he want his people, but his people are ruining it with their religion. With the religion. And God, I and I'm the same girl, God. I'm sorry for doing that. I was one of them, and I think that's why my heart's so grieved. I am sorry. For real, for real, it's. It's, <gasps> it's beyond us, like she said. It's it's beyond us, and we, we gotta step away from. We got to y'all. It's we are up. We are up. We are up. We are in the forefront. We are the forerunners right now. We, we are. It, it's it's no like it's it's time for us as 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 Christians, and not only that, but young adults, and I mean millennials, and the, the generation that's coming up. The old generation has died off. We got a partner, and we got to do this thing because we got to change it now, or 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 it's gonna get worse. It, it will. It will. And so, who oh, I gotta shut up? Let love drive you to Christ, because that's what drove him to you. Mm -hmm. Was love. You know. You would never be able to earn your salvation. But he didn't want you to. That's not what he intended to do on the cross. He died because he loved you so much, young man, young sis. That he 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 was willing to lay down his life so that he could see you again in glory with Amen. peace. And say, well done, my good and faithful servant. He loves you and no, he never intended for people, a group of people, who are supposed to be Christ-like, which is what Christian Christian means to be Christ-like. He didn't he didn't intend for it to ever have different denominations. He didn't intend it for it to ever be called a religious thing. Yeah. When he came, he didn't have none of that in mind. He just had you on his mind. He had everybody he has that has ever walked this world, earth and will walk this earth on his mind, and that's it. That's it. Religion has a whole nother hidden agenda that has nothing to do with love. God is love. Love is God. And that's what relationship is with him. It's yeah. falling in love with Christ. And not being a slave. And you can be a slave to religion. And I just read that in, in Romans six fifteen, And it was just saying you become a slave to, to the one you obey. And, and and a slave in a sense to God is a servant, but you can be a slave to religion and the rules and the systems. You become a slave to that. And so be free because God called us to free him. He did. And, 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 and just allow him to free you from these mindsets and these things that have hindered God's love from changing the world. And you do not have to look a certain yeah, way. Don't. Come to Christ. <laughs> come to come to look come to come to Christ. You do not have to look a certain way. Talk a certain way. Sound a certain way. Everybody prayer won't look the same. And if you and if you watching this video, y'all and y'all ain't never. If we open your eyes, a guy has spoke to you, and you like, I want to see what this is about. All you got to do is ask. Just ask him. God, I want to know you better. I want to know relationship and not religion. I want to see you. I want to see you beyond what my mama and my dad and my uncle and these people taught me. Come to my heart and show me you. Yeah. And he will. And he will. Just say the prayer of, I, yes, I believe and confess that you have died yeah. for my sins and you rose on the third day with all power in your name. Lord, I want to be saved. Please save my soul. Yeah. I want to make you Lord of my life. And I truly do believe that you love me so much that you gave your only begotten son for me. So, Lord, in this moment, capture my heart, capture my mind, yeah. and save me. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Woo! We love y'all. And I, oh, Lord. I'm it's gonna be a so lengthy video, but, but it's, it's worth, worth, it. worth the watch. And the next one, uh, what are we talking about? The next one will be.
How not to be a stumbling How not to be a stumbling block. We'll explain to y'all mm -hmm. what that means next time. So, we love y'all. Y'all have a good day. See y'all. Bye. Bye. Ooh, hey, girl, you, you got a chunk.